The new frontier of sales is service, providing value in such real time that it almost feels immediate. How do we do this? How do we add levels of personalization? How do we add levels of information and knowledge to assist people to help them solve their problems so that ultimately they can make a decision to work with us? Well, SIA, I think is the answer. SIA stands for the Sales Interactive Assistant. And SIA is a suite of AI tools to help you to make Make your videos more interactive. How? When people watch your videos, now they'll be able to interact with your sales agent, your live sales agent. Ask your agent questions, get FAQs, even book a time in your calendar. What I'd like to show you today is how to configure your SIA account on Dub so that you can have your own live sales assistant. Let's take a look here. This right here is an example of what SIA looks like. It's the Dub video landing page that you know and love, but it has a CTA button here so that your end user can access your AI chat assistant. Take a look. When they click on this, they'll access a real-time messaging system so that they can actually interact with a real live AI assistant. Let's take a look. In this case, I've set this up to be my assistant to help me sell dub. So in this case, the end user can see these frequently asked questions right off the bat. Let's click that one. And if you'll notice here, there's a response that's provided in real time by AI. This, my friends, is now accessible in your Dub account. Here's how we set it up. The first thing that we want to do is to go to our calls to action. The type of CTA that we want to select is AI agent. Now on this page, there's a number of fields that you are going to have to populate to make your AI assistant more intelligent and more properly configured for your experience. Here are the fields that you are going to want to populate. The first thing is the name of your assistant. Now, one of the most amazing things about this feature is that you can have multiple AI assistants for all of your sales activities, things like nurturing, prospecting, closing, client services, testimonial gathering, review gathering, account management, podcast booking, calendar booking, and so many more. So in this case, this is gonna be my primary AI assistant. What I'll do is I'll name it, I'll add myself as the owner. And then what I'm going to want to do is to provide a number of resource links to make the agent more intelligent. So in this case, I'm going to have a link to my website, my support center, a review site, my blog, my pricing page, case studies, testimonials, features, links to certain things that people can download. In this case, our iPhone app and our Android app. The possibilities are limitless. In fact, add as many resource links as you can by clicking the plus button. The more that you add, the more intelligent your AI assistant is going to be. The next thing that you'll want to add is your frequently asked questions. Sometimes we call these the override questions because your AI assistant is going to do an ample amount of research on your business and try to answer your questions as best as possible. However, in some instances, you do want to override those questions with prescribed answers. In this case, I decided to include what is Dub, how much does Dub cost, and do you offer training? Now, if you'll notice, I did put a short description in the answer field, and I also included direct links so that the AI engine can actually send people to the correct page on my case. For example, on cost or pricing, I did include a link to our pricing page. So the AI assistant is going to take the copy that you included here, but it's going to craft it in a certain way that's completely in context and then follow up by sending a support link. I definitely recommend that you add as many frequently asked questions as you possibly can. These are just going to make the system much more intelligent so that when people ask your AI questions, it answers them them properly. The next field is the default welcome message. This is the message that's going to appear by default within your AI assistant messaging window. So here you'll notice I have hello, thank you for your interest. Please ask a question below for a quick AI response. You can include anything that you'd like in your default welcome message. The next thing is your desired CTA title. This is basically the title of the CTA that your assistant is going to provide to people to take them to the next step. And then followed by your desired CTA URL. This is the link that you want to drive traffic to. For example, a calendar booking page, a checkout page, a contact form, a website, anything that you'd like to drive traffic to included in this field so that SIA, your new AI assistant, can do their job and provide this link to get you more conversions. So one of the things that's really powerful about SIA is that SIA has a goal to always try to collect contact information so that it can populate the information within your CRM, either the Dub CRM or the CRM 
CRM of your choice. So you'll notice right here, one of the questions that it asks me in the beginning is, may I please have your email address? So in this case, I definitely want to include my email address. Now, once I've provided my email address, as you can see, what it's trying to do is drive the sale. It's trying to get you a conversion. In this case, it's providing the link that I specified as the desired CTA URL. In this case, it's a link to our live training. This is where we want to drive traffic to with this AI assistant. So this link here is incredibly important. The next thing is the button text. What would you like to appear in that button of yours? I chose for it to say chat with AI agent, but you can have it say whatever you'd like. So you can select one of the pre-selected options or you can provide custom text. And the description text here is the text that's going to appear on top of your button. So if you'd like to add that context, that is also a possibility. Now, once you've saved your CTA, all that you have to do is go to your video and select that CTA as the selected CTA. So that anytime you populate or bring up that page, that is the CTA that's going to appear on your video. So because this video has this CTA associated with it, sure enough, you guessed it, the CTA will appear here on the bottom of the page. Now, the other pro tip that we also recommend is that you go to assets, you go to presets, and you add this as an option, as one of your CTAs, so that when people visit any of your videos, either the future ones that you're going to make or the past ones that you've already made, we recommend that you do add the AI assistant. And there it is right there. Now, every video that I create moving forward and historically will include a link to my AI assistant. Just think about this for a second. Now you can have an AI assistant for every aspect of your business, from the top of the funnel to the middle of the funnel to the bottom of the funnel and beyond. You can create AI assistance for every aspect of your business and include the relevant research and FAQ information. Not to mention, you can have a very specific final CTA so that you can get more conversions. If you'd like to access this feature, we invite you to get a Dub Pro or Pro Plus account. You can also try this feature in a free trial to Dub. Once you've configured your AI assistant, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to have your video on your landing page, and then it's going to have a button that allows your end users, your visitors, visitors to access your AI messaging assistant. So here it is in all of its glory. Now, one of the things that I do have to emphasize is that if you do want to test this yourself, you are going to have to use an incognito window in your browser. To open up an incognito window, you have to click on the three dots in Chrome and then select new incognito window. Sometimes in other browsers, they call it a private window. But the key here is that you're using a browser window that does not have your login cache stored because this engine is not designed for you as the dub user to use as a resource tool. This is designed for your prospects and your contacts to use as a resource tool, but you are welcome to use it. But once again, please test it in an incognito window. I want you to notice how powerful this AI assistant here. And the reason why it's so powerful is because it's learned from the resource links that I've provided to it. And it also has access to those frequently asked questions. So let's take a look at how it operates. Now, in my case, this is configured to sell dub, the video sales system. So let's take a look how effective it actually is. So the question that I just typed was, can I use Dub for my own team to help me sell more and increase our revenue? It's a very open-ended question. Let's see what it says. Did you notice how fast that was? It took just a couple of seconds and look at the response that it provided. Folks, this is the power of AI. Now you have Sia to be your personal sales interactive assistant. Set it up, use it, and share it. And we recommend that you add it to all of your videos so that you can achieve what all sales leaders dream to achieve, which is personalization at scale. Thanks to your AI assistant. Let's do another question though. Here's another open-ended question. As an individual sales leader and business owner, how can I use video and dub to increase my sales pipeline. Let's see what it says. And here is an absolutely phenomenal answer. It provides context. It gives you a listicle of things that are important. But as mentioned before, it's also always trying to drive the sale. In this case, it's giving you that final desired CTA URL so that you can get more conversions for your business. So I can't stress how important it is to include a relevant link, either your calendar link using any service that you'd like, a webinar registration link, a contact form on your website, or even a checkout page on your website. The key here is to provide a direct response page so that when Sia, your sales assistant, drives traffic to this page, you get more conversions. In sales, it used to be always be closing. Now it's always be CTA, and this makes it so easy. There's another thing that you'll notice here, which is that it's doing something called progressive profiling, which means it's capturing contact information as the chat continues on. So it already asked for an email address. Now it's going to follow up by asking what my first name is. So if I provide my first name, now Sia can chat with 
me on a first name basis. Sia will never forget your name. And one of the best things about this is that Sia will never forget your contacts names. It's storing this information like their email, their first name, and even specialized questions into the CRM so that next time they come back, it can continue the conversation where they left off. And as any good sales assistant should do, it's always driving the sale and it's staying persistent because you'll notice here, it's always including that final desired link, which is where I want to get my conversions. Now to access your AI messages, all you have to do is click on the messages icon on the top right of your dub dashboard. Here, you'll be able to access every message that has ever taken place by Sia. If you want to chime in on any conversation, you can do so simply by adding text into the input field. This makes it easy for you to take over a conversation. So if you're ready to use Dub Sia, your new sales interactive assistant to drive more conversions for your business, we are ready to support you. If you'd like to learn more, please visit dub.com. And if you need more support, we recommend that you visit support.dub.com or register to our live training every single day at 10 a.m. Pacific by visiting dub.com forward slash T. We'll see you inside the Dub dashboard and we'll see you at the group training. Thanks for watching this video.